Good evening. Good evening. All right. So uh, I'm, I'm uh, very excited to be here at Hanawanas because I love this room. It's a good place. And uh, it, I have something to celebrate this weekend. It is my daughter's 14th birthday. Oh, Holy shit. And as much trouble as she gives me in her teens, as she's now getting through the end of her first year, her birth was a lot of trouble. And uh, I know y'all heard Keegan's uh, description of their birth, his birth, but uh, mine's much different. So my, uh, my ex-wife, my, what, she was my wife, we're gonna call her my baby mama. So my baby mama uh, started having what our, we thought were Braxton Hicks contractions. We, she was uh, five and a half weeks early. And uh, that is when your uterus starts kind of hiccuping and it feels like you're getting ready to give birth. So we go check her out, and uh, it was on a Saturday. We get there, and uh, Saturday afternoon, we stay there through Sunday. Finally, Monday rolls around, and the doctor shows up, and they say, you have uh, low amniotic fluid, and we're gonna have this baby this afternoon. So, uh, and it's gonna be a C-section. So all the Lamaze classes that we took was a big fucking waste of time and money. So, when you have a when you have a C-section, you're gonna have an epidural. And epidural, my job during the epidural is to fold my wife in half, well, baby mama in half, and hold her down while this guy shoves a three-inch spike into her spine. And she's like, "Is it in yet?" I'm like, "We had this discussion to get into this fucking situation. I'm not telling you if it's in yet." Finally, they get it in, and uh, she's on the table. And when they put her on the table, they've got a, uh, basically like a curtain. And on one side, she's on the other side. She can't see what's going on. But I'm standing behind her, cheering her on. And I can see, and I'm taking pictures and having a good time, and being excited, and she's worried because she can't see shit. And I'm like, you're doing great, you're doing great. So the way they do this, and it's kind of gross, but they cut you right here and then they take the uterus out, and then they take the baby out, and then when they take the baby out, the doctor holds the baby up like this. And I take a picture, but it was with the umbilicals. <laughs> it's a great picture. So uh, we, we, we bring her in, uh, we, they go and they clean her off, and then we go and bring her back, and, we, and then I get to go take pictures of her holding the baby, and. My baby mama was the type of woman who like put on full makeup before she went into labor. And so she's got the beautiful picture and I've got a beautiful picture of her and my daughter. And then I've got the other picture on the other side that looks like a fucking autopsy. Because, because her uterus is still out and there's blood everywhere. And, <laughs> sorry, it's kind of gross. Uh, the, uh, I where I was going with this. Okay, so, <laughs> so uh, she was five and a half weeks early. And um, one of the things that when you're born that early is you have a low vitamin D deficiency. Fortunately, my daughter's quarter Korean, so she's got a high melanin count, so they just put her under some uh, fluorescent lights, and that worked for apparently three days. I didn't get to actually touch my daughter for two days. Finally, I get older. Told her she's sweet, she's beautiful, I'm excited. And then, we got any parents here? Any parents? So, I don't know if you know this, but the first time your baby takes a shit, it is this black, like, grueling stuff that comes out. And it, it's, it's scary. That's my life, I need it. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. But, uh, so, uh, unfortunately, I'm telling my daughter this story the other day, and she was not happy. She really didn't want to see the pictures either, and I, I do have them. And um, one of the things she reminded me of, she said, you know, I'm, four, I'm going to be 14, uh, and next year, you got to teach me how to drive. Like, oh shit, there goes my fucking insurance rate. <laughs> but uh, as much as trouble as she had in, in birth and has given me all through uh, 
uh, through life. Um, you know, now she, uh, as a teenager, she does not have any hesitation to tell me to go fuck myself. And <laughs> usually when I'm making fun of her for being Asian, like, how the fuck did you get a C on a math test? She doesn't like it, and uh, I still think that's uh, helpful to her because she's doing very well. She's going to be, uh, she's a freshman at the moment. Thank you. Yeah. Wally Omar, everybody.